Oh, I am Dr. Ajay Sharma, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, James Engineering Management Technical Campus, Knowledge Park 3, Greater Noida. The subject that I teach in the semester for BTEC 7 semester students is optoelectronics and optical communication. And the topic that I discuss today in this video lecture is probability of error, quantum limit, and analog receiver. Uh, <clears throat> one of the important characteristic of any optical receiver and to judge the performance of optical receiver, you should know as an engineer, what is the bit error rate of this particular error, uh, receiver, right? So what is bit error rate? Actually, bit error rate is the ratio of erroneous bits to correct bits, or you may say incorrect bits to correct bits, right? So bit error rate, bit error rate is the is the you know it's a it's a concept to show how many bits are incorrect in total number of bits that particular receiver received. So a very simple way to measure the error rate in a digital data stream is to divide the number of error occurring bits over a certain time interval t by the number and t of pulses. This is the total pulses transmitted during this interval. In short, actually bit error rate, bit error rate is the ratio of number of bits that are in error upon total number of bits. So bit error rate, if you look at this slide, this is bit error rate. This is bit error rate. It is the ratio of number of bits that are in error upon number of total number of bits, right? And this is nothing but the bit error rate, bt. So this is the bit error rate, how you define a bit error rate, right? So b is the bit error rate. So typical error rates that, uh, that are found in optical fiber telecommunication system range from 10 to the power minus 9 to 10 to the power minus 12 compared to 10 to the power 9 for wireless system. So what is the meaning of 10 to the power 9? Actually 10 to the power 9 means 1 upon 10 to the power 9. Means out of 10 to the power 9 bits that receive, were received, one bit is in error. Or if the bit error rate of any receiver is 10 to the power minus 12, means 1 upon 10 to the power 12. Means 1 bit in error out of 10 to the power 12 bits that particular receiver received. So this is a very important factor of any uh, on any any optical receiver, right? And this is also be true that this bit error rate actually depends upon signal to noise ratio of a receiver, right? So signal to noise ratio of a receiver and bit error rate are related to each other. That we will see in next slides, right? And what is signal S by N ratio? It is a signal power upon noise power. Look at the <coughs> probability distribution of 0 and 1. In this particular picture, if you see this picture, this is the threshold line. This is a threshold line. Below which we have a 0 level. Above which we have a 1 level. Means if anything is below this line, this, this dotted line, this break line, if anything found below this, then receiver received a 0. And if anything below above this particular uh, break line, then receiver uh, declare one bit. So this region belong to one level and this region belong to uh, zero level. And this is the threshold, right? So look at the probability distribution function also for one and zero. This is the probability distribution of one and this, and both follow Gaussian, uh, Gaussian uh, distribution. That is very interesting. Because uh, the noise uh, considered to be a random variable and whose distribution follows a Gaussian distribution. So this is a probability density function of 1 and this is probability density function of 0. So and uh, in middle of this 1 and 0, this is a threshold. But because of the uh, inter-symbol interference, some part of the, the, some part of the bit uh, time period some part uh, of the particular bit is actually cross the line, cross its limit as far as time is concerned. 
and reach to neighbor pulse similarly for the neighbor pulse some part is in the first pulse so look at this position so this is so some part of this you know zero distribution found in there this is a shaded region so some part reach to the uh, neighbor bit which represent one and look at this shaded region and some part of one reach to zero look at this shaded region this is p1b this is p not b or p0b right and this is p1b so some part is reached to cross each other uh, time periods and this is a threshold so it's a very beautiful diagram to show the probability distribution of one and zero and about the threshold concept and how the receiver declared one and zero on the basis of what so this is the threshold line that divides the two region one and zero so these are the uh, mathematical uh, models of uh, you know probability of zero and probability of one and uh, these are the limit uh, if uh, if something is you know uh, uh, below uh, threshold we declare uh, zero and something is above uh, above threshold we threshold voltage we declare one so this is uh, uh, the mathematical uh, equations or the diagrams for uh, deciding threshold voltage Now come to uh, a bit error rate expression. You know, uh, as I said that uh, random variable or uh, random variable is a noise in communication, whether it is optical communication or normal communication. And so when noise considered to be a random variable, and uh, that random variable follow Gaussian distribution. So noise follow Gaussian uh, distribution. So a simple estimation of the better rate can be calculated by assuming the equalizer output as a Gaussian random variable. So let us now consider let the uh, so that is uh, very much clear that whatever the noise come in the uh, optical communication at the receiver side actually it follow Gaussian distribution. And for Gaussian distribution, what we, what is the probability of error? We already know the mathematical model. That's, that we already discussed in unit number uh, two of this syllabus of this syllabus of our uh, uh, of the syllabus digital communication in, in six semester. So let the mean and variance of the Gaussian output for a one pulse be say b on and sigma on square. So these are the mean and variance of a Gaussian output for one pulse respectively, and for Gaussian output zero pulse we have b of and sigma of square for zero pulse so these are the uh, terms that we assume uh, for one and for zero so if the probability of zero and one pulses are equally likely then bit error rate or error probability becomes actually bit error rate are also called as a probability of error so becomes low this is the so this is the expression for that this is the expression for that this is the so this in this particular expression this expression comes when you assume uh, noise as a gaussian random variable so so gaussian distribution so that noise follow gaussian distribution and because of that that particular formula or the equation comes so students familiar with this formula already right so this and that is so bit error rate is error function of q upon 12 and that is the so these are the mathematical models that come in the picture when you assume noise as a Gaussian uh, random variable. So the noise follow Gaussian distribution. And this is the, this again show the, you know, a threshold label. And this is, this region is for one and this region is for zero. So, uh, so variance sigma on square and B on applicable on that above threshold and sigma of square and b of uh, you know applicable at this region below threshold and in between these b uh, b of and b on there is a threshold voltage v right so on the basis of that line uh, receiver decides whether one is to be declared or zero is to be declared Now again, look at this uh, particular graph. Uh, the, this is the probability of error calculations. 
so the factor q is widely used to specify receiver performance uh, since it is related to the snr required to achieve a specific better rate so there exists a narrow range of snr above which the error rate is tolerable and below which the highly unacceptable number of errors occur so the snr signal to noise ratio at which the transition occur is called threshold level now this is very important graph as i told in the beginning of this particular lecture there is a relationship between bit error rate and snr and here is the proof this is the graph that is drawn after the calculation of bit error rate and snr and look at this position this particular v upon sigma actually uh, this is s by n ratio this v resembles signal and this sigma resembles noise so this is actually s by n ratio and this is the bit error rate on the y axis so if you increase signal to noise ratio your bit error rate decreases so the probability of error is also declared uh, is also you know comes to be decreases and your receiver able to read a bits correctly right? okay so this is the very so what we actually do in signal to noise ratio we always maximize s by n ratio by eliminating noise contents uh, that's why many types of filters are used at the receiver a uh, matched filter is one of the important filter that we used in communication right so it maximize the s by n ratio so the better error rate or probability of error decreases now come to the uh, uh, receiver sensitivity this is also one of the important parameter or a characteristic of a receiver so a specific minimum average optical level must arrive at the photo detector to achieve a desired bit error rate at a given data rate means there is should be a some minimum optical power that must be there at the input of the detector so your photo detector give you a better result uh, better result and and a particular bit error rate that is tolerable you know every receiver has its own bit error rate you can't neglect bit error rate but when the bit error rate is minimum then we we can tol uh, tolerate this particular things so that is that is the meaning so the value of this minimum power level that is required for receiver to give uh, to give uh, better result or uh, to give uh, the result which is uh, not affected by any noise uh, that minimum power level is called a receiver sensitivity so the engineer should uh, know this receiver sensitivity parameter so the engineer should or must ensure that this particular minimum level should be there at the input of the photo detector right so assuming there is no optical power in the received zero pulse then the receiver sensitivity is this much and this is the mathematical model of uh, receiver sensitivity and all the terms are you already uh, you know know that and the the photo detector we always 90% the photo detector we assume is avalanche type so when the avalanche uh, protector come in the picture then the factor capital m which is a current gain factor always come in the picture always come in the mathematical model so in this picture all the terms that the students are familiar except this uh, i think uh, the thermal noise current variance sigma t right so this is the thermal noise current variance like sigma t which is 4k t upon rl fn b by 2 where fn is the noise figure and k is the boltzmann's constant t is the temperature in kelvin rl is the thermal uh, load so this uh, mathematical model is very important as far as receiver sensitivity is concerned now come to a quantum limit what is this the minimum received optical power required for a specific bit rate performance in the digital system this is we already we discussed in the previous slide so this power level is called quantum limit since all system parameter are assumed ideal and the performance is limited only by the only by the detection statistics now this is a basic analog fiber optic receiver look at this uh, this basic analog fiber receiver so first of all the first stage of this basic analog optical receiver is a detector photo detector so this is the input this is the input that is coming from outside from optical fiber and this arrow indicates a light these are the photons right what this photodiode do this uh, this photodiode convert this light 
this light this arrow indicate the photons or the light converts in a in a current so here is the current and this operation amplifier act as a converter means that convert this particular current into a voltage so you get voltage here right and that voltage that is coming at the output of this uh, converter is very you know very low so we need to get amplification so this op amp act as an amplifier and you get the final output and this is your final output right so in this way this basic analog fiber optical receiver works and thank you very much